guys, it's Jade and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, what's up? Hello, hit subscribe, stick around for more. In today's video, we are doing another tanning review. We are reviewing Isle of Paradise. I was gifted this maybe a few months ago and just haven't had the chance to try it out. I'll be honest, um, the fact that it is a spray and not a mousse um, intimidated me. So I got this in the color dark. This is self tanning water. They're not only tanned you, but it's also meant to color correct you. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a little weird. So on the back of it, I read it and I was like, whoa. By being this violet color, it gets sort of orange tones, which kind of makes sense now, like looking when you do your hair and stuff, like if you have like an orange or a blue shampoo, it gets sort of like yellow or orange grassy tones. So it just makes sense that it would do the same thing on skin. So naturally we, we're, we're onto a winner here. It's also vegan friendly, cruelty free and organic. So um, this is right up my street and I feel guilty for not trying this sooner. So uh, without further ado, he likes the results just continue to watch the video isle of paradise dark self tanning water the actual instructions on how to use this tan exfoliate 24 hours before moisturize dry areas hands feet knees ankles elbows prior to application number two mist until skin is totally saturated covering face hands and feet last before blending with a tanning mitt using sweeping motions thoroughly wash palms after use oh. i don't normally put it on my palms i feel like we can skip that step number three your tan and will develop in four to six hours. So in the meantime, eat some ice cream, watch a movie, call a girlfriend. Just don't get the tan wet while it develops. Oh, okay. Well, we can do that. We can do that. It also says to do a skin patch test. Um, I'm gonna do that, but you should do that. You should do that. Okay, I'm really excited. So this sounds super easy. It just sounds like I just need to spray everything and then, um, and then I'm done. Okay, well, oh, it smells good. Oh. It smells very aloe vera-y. Oh, it smells clean. Okay, I'm excited. I wonder if this will come out as a color. I don't know. Okay, let's see. Is it? I'm done. Smells like sun cream. Okay, I feel like I need to start blending this into my, my skin. Do I just... Is this correct? So long sweeping motions. I'm tasting it. Long sweeping motions. Oh, I'm hoping to the tanning gods that I've applied this to everywhere that needs to be applied to. Let's do the other arm. I'm really panicking. Like, what if I'm missing part of my 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 skin, or if I've missed a part and it's going to come out all, all uneven? First impression though, it actually does smell really good. So I, I'm quite excited about that. Okay, well that's kind of, I'm kind of done my, my upper body. Okay. Okay, so I've officially applied it to my entire body. Um, there is not really much to say. My skin feels incredibly tacky at the moment, so I'm very paranoid that I'm sitting down right now, so I might have um, might have a white thumb. But other than that, I mean, it smells delicious. My skin feels extremely hydrated. Although it's tacky, it feels hydrated. It feels a little bit like after sun, like a really clean aloe vera, fresh eucalyptus-y kind of smell. I don't know what it is, but I, I really love it. And um, I feel like I'm on holiday, and I imagine this is what like a holiday in a bottle would smell like. In terms of color, we have nothing, but we have time. We need to set a timer. Let me do that right now before I forget. Okay, so I will set a four hour timer first. About 1.30, I will come back and I will show you what we look like after four hours. Hopefully it is dark because it says it's dark. I'm not seeing it, but uh, I will let you know when I'm dry as well because uh, I'm, I'm a little bit concerned that I'm so tacky. Uh, yeah, so. We will see, I'll be back. Okay, we're four hours in. We have a really gorgeous color. Like, um, look at my hands. They are stunning. I've never seen hands this good. I'm shocked. I'm mad that I didn't try this sooner. There is the slightest smell at the moment. I'm not actually sure if we need to wash this off. Um, I should probably look at that before I come back on next. Okay, and here is the final color. I mean, we're looking, we're looking a lot more, more tanned. Four hour mark gave us a real good tan, but this the six hours. I'm impressed. This is a very natural tan though. I wouldn't say it's like dark dark. I mean like we definitely have a glow. Look at this. Look at this patchiness. That is horrendous. The fact that we couldn't see what was happening. So I was I was thinking about putting more tan on top of it but then I was afraid that what if the same thing happens again that I have like two layers of 
of streaks just to see how long this tan actually lasts. I'll see you guys in a week. <laughs> okay, so it's been about three, four days. Let's get straight into the pros and the cons of this tan. So I'm with the pros. Pro number one, the color. This color is amazing. Like, look at me, I'm still tanned. This tan is gorgeous. There is no orangeness. This is like the perfect natural looking tan. I can't express it. I uh, honestly, I'm just mad I haven't been using this before. Pro number two, no smell, none, nothing at all. When it says no smell, it means it. The only time it smelled was when I was applying it and honestly, it barely smelled then. Since literally showering, sleeping, nothing. There is nothing wrong with this tan. It just smells of nothing. Pro number three, zero transfer. Yeah, this tan has zero transfer, zero transfer whatsoever. Application, nothing. I must have accidentally sprayed it on like a million pieces of furniture when I was applying it to my skin. She transferred onto nothing. I I'm just mad that I didn't get the opportunity to put this at the top of my tanning tier list because um, it would have been right up there. The fourth pro to this tan, now I've never really spoke about this before, but I love that this tan is 100% cruelty free, vegan and organic. Like this, the ingredients in this are unbelievable. We're not just applying a fake tan, we're applying like nourishing stuff to our skin, which is always a pro. So I don't really know what to put this. I don't really have like a word for it, but it's like in the middle. I liked the application because it was really easy just to like spray on, but I also hated the application because it was just, you couldn't see where you were spraying it. It was kind of like a, you're doing it in the dark situation. You had to spray and hope that you'd applied it and the hope there was enough on there because um so we run into a few moments in my um my hands to be one of them but yeah the, okay moving completely into the console now okay so application it's just it's just a bit hit and miss i mean my hands like you know we can still see we're, we're, we're days later and we still have this white line it's and my legs as well my legs kind of just they kind of didn't do the thing yeah it was a little bit hard to see where i was doing it the second con to this is probably that it just takes so long to develop it just took what felt like forever i feel like it's the kind of time that you could spray on at night and then wake up feeling golden and gorgeous and you wouldn't transfer so that is a pro I feel like we all have a color guide. I feel like it's not just a me thing. That's gotta be an everybody thing. She's gonna hit a five out of five star rating, okay? This tan is my new 100% go-to tan. The easiest, best tan I think I've ever used. Just gotta get good at applying things about a color guide. That's it. That's it. And that's everything. So don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment down below what your favorite part is. So let's see you, bye.